Hi everybody, welcome back to Ashar Books. Today I am here to do the Finally Fall tag. This tag was created by Tall Tales, who is another booktuber here on YouTube. Um, and I am so excited to do this tag. I've been waiting to do a fall tag because I was trying to wait until it was officially fall. But today is the 22nd, which is the fall equinox, and I'm so excited. Fall is my favorite season. I love the smells. I love the colors. I love the cooler weather. I do live in Florida, so cooler weather is a relative term, but um, I'm still really excited. Don't be surprised if you see another fall tag pop up here or there because I'm just really excited to do them. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first question is, in the fall, the air is crisp and cool. Name a book that had a really vivid setting that just came to life in your mind. And for this one, I went with The Dark Unwinding. This is a book I just finished yesterday and I really enjoyed it. This one is set in England and it's set in on this estate. It's this huge estate. It's out in the middle of the country on the moors and it is really creepy. The whole vibe of this for at least the first part of it just seems very like haunted kind of and it was just really vivid in my mind. It felt like I was on an estate in the middle of England and there was not many people around at first. It was very secluded and I don't know this book just had a really good atmosphere that was kind of creepy but also very just vivid, I don't know. I really enjoyed this a lot and it made me feel like I was there. Question number two is that while nature is beautiful in fall, it is also dying. So name a book that has beautiful writing but covers a kind of heavy or tough topic. So the one that I went with is The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. So this book is one of my personal favorite books. Um, I've loved it for a really long time. I know recently some people have um, kind of expressed their opinions that there might be some problems in this book just with the relationship between the two main characters and maybe a bit of an unhealthy relationship. I can definitely see where they're coming from. Um, however, it is still one of my favorite books. And um, this one I picked for this question because this book takes place during wartime in Russia and it covers a lot of death. There's so much um, just hunger and there's just death. It's a really tough read. The first part, or I guess it's the middle part maybe of this book, it's cold, people don't have enough to eat. It's just really tough going and it just, I felt like this book could have been really depressing very easily, but I never was. I thought the writing was kind of uplifting. It got me through that tough time. I'm not big on sad stories, and that's saying something that a sad topic book is one of my favorite romances. I really do enjoy this book. Um, I just felt like the writing took a sad situation and just horrific circumstances and really made them flow in a way that was easy to read but also really impactful. So question three is that fall is back to school season. So name a nonfiction book that kind of has taught you something. So for this one I went with The Last Lecture by Randy Posh. Some of you guys might have read this. I know it was on a lot of universities required reading list and that is where I read it when I was at my undergrad. It was required reading and I really enjoyed this. I'm not huge on nonfiction but this one is about um, it was a professor, I think he was at Carnegie Mellon, um, named Randy Posh, and he had to give this last lecture. To, and basically he was told he was gonna have terminal, I believe it was cancer, and he was gonna die. So he wrote this last lecture, and I believe it was to his children, kind of in his mind, he was writing all of the things that he's learned and all of the things that, what it means to be living. Like, what does it mean to live every day of our life? And I just, I took a book that I really wasn't looking forward to reading and I really got something out of it. I read this a few, like a while back now and I still think about some of the things I read and I just, I felt like it was just a really good message and it really just made you think about your own life. So question four is, in order to keep warm, it's nice to spend time with people that you love and name a book that has a group of like family members or friend group that you would just love to be a part of and spend time with. And for that, I'm going with The Bridgertons from Julie Quinn's like The Bridgerton series. I just started reading this series um, a couple of weeks ago and I'm really loving it. The Bridgertons are this huge kind of <laughs> elaborate family um, in England. Um, the matriarch is Violet and she might be one of my favorite parents I've ever read about. Violet Bridgerton 
is just perfect. I feel like she gets on to her children, but she loves them and she just wants what's best for them. And in this book particularly, that mama, she just like said how it was and she went down on someone. <laughs> and um, I just love this family. They have the best sibling relationships. I think they're, I feel like they're really honest sibling relationships. It's not all perfect, but it comes from a place of love. So I'd love to be part of the Bridgerton family. Question five says, colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a stack of colorful spines. Let me go get some. Okay, here are my fall spines that I have obtained. Here we go. Pretty fall colors. Question number six is says, fall is the perfect time for cozy storytelling. Name a book that has some kind of storytelling element to it. So in the tag, um, the creator also said that you could pick books that you would want to read and I picked one that I would want to read for this question because I have been really wanting to read um, The Princess Bride. I've never read that book. I love the movie and that book, um, if you haven't heard or watched the movie, um, the grandfather is telling the story to his grandson and so that one, it just has a really sweet storytelling element and I would love to read it. Question seven is that nights are getting darker. Name a creepy read. So as you guys may know if you watched my channel, um, I'm not a big creepy book fan. I don't do well with horror. I'm a scaredy cat. But one book that I've read recently that I really liked was How to Hang a Witch. Um, I really loved that book. It was creepy. It was atmospheric. I felt just really creeped out, but not too creeped out that I couldn't sleep at night. So love that one. Question eight is the days are also getting colder. Name a short heartwarming read that you would love to kind of read to warm yourself up. So for this one, I'm going to have to go with Harry Potter. I don't have my copy because I honestly don't know exactly where it's at. It's here somewhere, but I'm not positive where it's at. But Harry Potter is like the ultimate comfort, whether it's the movie or the book, it's just comforting. Question nine is fall obviously returns every year. So name a book or a series that you would love to return to and kind of read again. I picked the Shatter Me Trilogy by Tahira Mafi. This one I haven't read since I originally read it and I loved it. It's one of my favorite trilogies. Um, obviously there's more books coming out now, so I've really been kind of itching to reread them and just kind of experience all of these again and I just think it'd be so much fun to read them again. Question 10 is fall is the perfect time for a cozy reading night. What are some of your cozy reading night essentials? So I first like to drink something. I don't always drink tea. I do like tea um, but I probably if I'm gonna drink tea it has to be like certain kinds of tea so I really like plain old Earl Grey and recently I've been really into peppermint tea so I like that um, and I also like anything pumpkin spice, like the lattes, the creamer, anything pumpkin spice is good for me. Um, and then the other thing that I picked for my cozy reading night is I love to have candles. This is my favorite candle. It's from Bath and Body Works. It's the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. It smells so good. My house smells like it right now. I've already burned like half of this and I need to purchase another one. But yes, I love lighting a candle and reading. This is my favorite. If you haven't smelled this candle, just pop on into Bath and Body Works and give it a smell. Okay guys, those are all the questions for my finally fall tag. This was such a fun tag to do. Um, I love fall and I love talking about fall. Um, I'm gonna tag a couple people down below. I just haven't thought through who I will yet. So check down below to see who I tag. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.